Okay, I'm definitely up. For whatever reason, there was an issue where Streamlabs doesn't like me. That's basically the gist of my entire issues. OBS didn't run as well, but at least it was more consistent. Although OBS does run better if you just record. <clears throat> anyway! Hello and welcome back, everybody! My name's Robin, and welcome back to Outer Worlds! Wait. Why are all my autosaves... ...interesting? Now, I definitely saved. It's like the most recent save. I mean, I'm on City in the Stars, which is the quest that I'm on. I distinctly remember saving. Which is why I'm confusioned. I remember because I accidentally left the game on, and then I looked, and I quantifiably saved. Like, I saw the save. So, it's telling me I didn't save, it's lying. Which will upset me a small bit. can load any time like to play the video game very nice okay yep we're good this is where I wanted to be dr. Ellie you ever wonder if maybe we got some things in common this isn't another thing about wrenches and guns is it because you're a surgeon and I'm a mechanic we both fix things, heal them up. Hate to break it to you, but before I got to Groundbreaker, I fixed more noses than bones. Nowadays, I probably shoot more than I save. Oh. Aww. My body's just trying to bond. <laughs> Sweet dreams are made of dreams. <laughs> Sweet memes are made of this. I not um, How do I get up there then? That's the way I came last time. Fuck it. You know We're gonna be difficult. Everything has to be difficult. Terran Monarch, with Ruth Bellamy as Halcyon Helen, Spencer Warwick as Chief of the Savages, featuring real monsters from the doomed. Twelve amazing episodes. I don't know how much longer I can continue to narrate absolutely nothing, thank god. Right. Quest up there. It's a quest over there. Both of them are up these stairs. That episode from a few weeks ago was supposedly based on a real incident. You mean the one where the dissidents blew up an orphanage? That's awful. Thank the law we live in Byzantium, right? Oh, yeah. These... So fucking posh, all of you. None of you have ever lived outside of... Not Death World. House of Inebriation. Holy shit. I, I gotta just admire the name. Wait, what quest are we on? This is where I am. City in the Stars? Oh. Ah, okay. Hi, do you know where Clark lives? Hey, 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 stand back. You. I'm part of Minister Clark's personal detail, and that is means he? you gotta keep five feet back. This guy looks like he's taking some heavy damage. 
And I was talking to such a big shot. Yep, you're looking at the minister's newest personal guard. <laughs> right here. The others took me out to celebrate on account of me just getting hired and all. He is sloshed. Anything you can tell me about Minister Clark? Oh, um, he's a uh, medium height with like medium colored hair and like a kind of a medium face. Oh, very he's medium like man. Posters. You haven't met him, have you? Everyone tells me he's very private, okay? Besides, I just started. Yeah. What's so important about guarding him? He's basically the most important person in the colony, which makes me the most important guard in the colony. <laughs> yeah. I, that I means guess. I got a key to the minister's estate, my own personal UDL assist issued shotgun. UDL is just shoot shotgun. To just anyone. This guy plays drunk really well. A key, you say? You can introduce him to the. You can introduce the posh to the wrath of Edgewater later, maybe. That's right. Not just anyone is allowed to have a key to Minister Clark's residence. It's all it's all very high level. How about I buy you a drink to celebrate your promotion? That's a great idea. I'll have a Spectrum vodka. Captain, I can smell him from clear over here. I reckon he's had a fair number already. Sing the point, sure body. Because today's my big day. He's got powerful good ears, too. And a powerful thirst. You, uh, you have a Spectrum Vodka for a new pal? Yes, I do. Here's to you. Here's to me. <laughs> Hey, you are really great. Have oh no, I that? put him into the I love you phase. Be friends. <laughs> wow, listen to me. I'm soaked. <laughs> I should probably slow down before I'm face down on the tile somewhere. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I could, I could have another. You got another? Yes, I do. I don't have any. Oh, maybe they got some at the bar. Maybe they do. Hello, Mr. Bar. Have you tried our new cocktail sponsored by Rizzo's? One part purple spectrum vodka, one part artificial tomato-like substitute juice. What? We call it a blue Bloody Mary. Sounds disgusting. I could use a drink. Then you'll want to speak with our auto mechanical inebriation assistant located just over there. Aren't you the bartender? Quite so. But I would never lower myself to do something as gauche as tending bar. My auto mechanical assistant does all the work for me. Okay. Hello, one who does all the actual work. Please allow me to improve your drinking experience. What the? What's wrong with tending bar? Banter. I'll have a drink. Spectrum vodka. Bezos trip out. Glacier water, Spectrum Vodka. I'll take your entire stock! Hey, you look familiar. Have we met before? Met this? That's not everything. Did you expect people to do what their job description right? entails? Nah, fair. Wow! You've got like this crazy energy. Has anyone ever told you that? I just kind of like expect a, the minimum of people. You got a manosaur energy. I've got mantisaur oh, energy. Boss. I gotta stop. I'm seeing at least two of you. That is pussy shit. I really shouldn't. I'll have the worst hangover tomorrow if I don't stop. Nonsense. You've got another in you. Doctor's orders. Doctor's Guess orders. I can't argue with that. Yeah. Was that one supposed to taste like purple berry crunch? Or am I? Just I love how Ellie just get Ellie, Ellie's just completely I don't on board. Feel so good. I think I'm gonna be sick. Ellie's just completely on board. Parvati, please move. Parvati's just blocking this man. I just need to sit. Ugh. 
Oh, he just died. I kind of wonder what dialogue Nyoka would have had for this. I'm all- I'm kind of curious myself. I didn't kill him. I- I did not expect that to end in him dying. That was- that was not what I expected. Buy this- let's buy this bitch some fancy clothes. I've always loved that. Gold Cure's Haberdashery. You, with the hips. Over here. Let me take a closer look at you. Thank you. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Don't speak. Hold that posture for a moment while I admire you. You have also, what's a going on, natural ma contraposto, my dear. How's your the evening? way you rest your weight against your hip suggests a certain rugged charisma you? possessed only by the mighty primal and the well-traveled spacer. Splendid. I love it. There it is, the most pretentious thing I've heard all day. <laughs> That's me, rugged and well-traveled. What on earth is that lipstick? Rich. Ah, oh, Celeste, you've done it again. I knew from the moment I laid eyes on you that I'd found my muse. Going to fuck? I'm Celeste Jolicoeur. And you, my dear, are exactly what Byzantium needs. It's like you read my mind. Darling, you and that brutish swagger of yours have been on my mind the moment you stepped into my studio. I think she wants to fuck. I'm working on a new line of clothing that will shock this city to its core, and I'd like your help. What do you say, my dear? Care to make history with me? What do you have in mind? When I look at you, I see the very embodiment of everything the walls of Byzantium were built to keep out. Uh. Making an outfit worthy of you won't be easy. I'll need your help gathering the right materials. I'll take that as a compliment. Marvelous! You and I are gonna wake this city up like a cold splash of wine to the face! Doing better. What I need is a survey of the outside world. What does the common laborer wear? How do the wild-eyed madmen of Monarch dress themselves? I've heard rumors, but I require samples. Who's the salute I'm watching? I expect you to model for me. Um, clothes person. I guess. What's going on, Luna? Any excuse to admire my looks, huh? Can't blame you. Oh, you can. You'll be the talk of Byzantium once I'm done with you. I'll need you to model for me the following. Dude, the sales pitch by seducing him into a quest line. Hey, I'm easy. The armor of a marauder <laughs> and a full ensemble of spacer gear. Helmet included. And when I say spacer gear, I mean an outfit worn by real spacers. None of that garbage spacer's <laughs> choice pedals. <laughs> you have the bearing and demeanor of a born model. You're going to absolutely murder this job. Y'all, we already know your character has a dummy thick ass. You're in luck. I'm already wearing an iconoclast outfit. Goodness. Look at those atrocious <laughs> contours. Jesus, dude. The sheer brutality of its design offends <laughs> You're all the senses and shocks the mind into I'm going a state to model for a traitor, believe me. I adore it. Two outfits remain. I can't wait to see what you'll bring me. Something shocking, I hope. My engineer is going on a date. But you need to find an outfit. You don't gotta be so forward about my reasons, Captain. Let me get a good look at you. Turn around, please, darling. My word. Such muscular shoulders. You're a vision, dear. All right, Celeste, stop drooling. I am no such thing, ma'am. Nonsense. You're absolutely lovely. Chin up now. I have just the thing for you. Let me do a back of the envelope calculation. Materials, labor, licensing, and copyright. There. What? Okay. Ah! He's an engineer. 
Think she can afford that? She needs to impress her true love. Love? That's the ultimate luxury, darling. Love. <laughs> oh, gracious me. I don't get why that's funny, ma'am. Oh, my cherub. Who woos for love anymore? That's so... precious. All right, Captain. Here is the absolute best I can do for you. I guess we can swing 3,000? There are some things I simply cannot skimp on, darling. Such a lovely I just persuaded young that price down by... I just made her take that now at stand cost. Up. Back, back. I'll enter the settings and get these machines spinning. You'll be broke to bespoke in nearly an hour. Love is in the air. And there we are, my darling girl. I wish you a splendiferous evening. And if you don't mind my asking, have you any interest in modeling? What? Oh, no, ma'am. All them eyes staring at me? I couldn't. No way, no how. I get scared just thinking on it. I wish you weren't so shy, my Violet. You truly are beautiful. I hope your date sees that as clearly as I. Oh my gosh. Space Ogu. I think I might have some of that on me. And a troop armor. Can't tell what's spacers and what's not. Like it's hard to tell. That's obviously iconoclast. What about this? I can't. What can, can I find space? If here? I were an enterprising spacer in need of a wardrobe, I'd probably head to the ground. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. So oh, good on the breaker. Okay. Can do. Sup, girl? Oh, can you believe this outfit? It's so handsome, I'm almost afraid to touch it. Why? Well, I, I, I did a good. Me. After all this time? I can... I just have to... Actually do it now. Y you know... I made them make there's, nice. There's a part Jun Lei's been looking for. To fix up the air cyclers? They only carried them on big colonies. I did kill ships, them. Like the Hope. Bavadi, making every little thing perfect won't change Jun Lei's feelings. I know. For a while, it, it felt like everything I did was a little bit of help. And it meant I didn't have to ask her to be mine. Not yet. Not for real. Next time we dock with Groundbreaker, I'm doing it. I'll send June a message and ask her over. Oh, this is real scary, Captain. Agreed. I'm grateful for all you've done. Agreed. All right, Ellie, you have one chance. Graham's death has the hunger of the wrath of Edgewater. But now, all right, Ellie, I'm sorry, but uh, putting you on hold. Ellie, quit being boring. No, we're going to go kill her parents, maybe. I don't know. She told me that she wanted me to be the worst boyfriend ever. And I can't think of any better way to do that than to kill her parents. Although I will be an absolute slob first. I will do that. I mean, don't please. Why? I like last stream. I had multiple people tell me to do exactly that. Crew report: Bioka is drunk. Surprise. Oh no! I'm like her quest is next. Job assessment. It's a mess. Begin cleaning cycle. Say yes, no, or later. Ugh. This unit is not registered to translate words in the Canid language. 
She's speaking animals. You'll enjoy the actual quest results more than just killing them. All right, fine. You make a good point. I understand we have decided to continue supporting the outlaw scientist, Dr. Phineas Wells. Is that a problem? Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Also, soon, Captain. how when I had the controller charged the entire time, and we'll be back to this, I'm a little bit hose mad. Good on the break. Destination reached. The groundbreaker. Jesus, thank you for the 80. The 80k, no less. I love how, like, she flies across the screen and then just fucking dies. I'm gonna bring- I'm gonna bring Felix. I wanna see Felix on this. So we're here to buy some spacer gear and to, uh, do the Parvati quest. Alright guys, who's ready for the good shit? Who's ready for the cute shit? It's time to get cut. Or did you mean cute? I hope you meant cute. Cute's the correct answer. Hype. 100 sub hype. I love that that's sub hype. Like, it's such a dumb joke. All right, game, let me play the game. All right. Oh, I have to talk to Parvati on the ship. I want a sub. I want to go to, now I want Subway too. God damn it. Why can't I just talk to her while we are on Groundbreaker? We are literally here. Just call her on the tel- Just call her on the cell phone. Come on, girl. What are you gonna do? Have a fucking Skype call? You're adjusting before you call. You're anticipating it. You. Of course, I'm anticipating it. What oh, we've seen this one. A friend on accident. That's on account of your stance. You want to lean into it, embrace it, work with it. You're in control. I still love this though because it's Not cute. Gun. Don't let a hunk of metal jerk you around. You've been around powerful machinery all your life, and you're always in control, right? I guess that's kind of like when the filler's shooting 600 cans of near molten sal tuna down the conveyor while I'm. Trying to tune a belt. <laughs> Here, stand like me. Just so. Hip square. Lean forward a little. It's just equipment, and you're just an engineer using it. Ah! Okay. We'll try again later. You'll get it. I promise. All right. She's on her way. How do I look? You look terrific. Oh. My hands have finally stopped shaking. You're also still in your oh, armor. Oh. You might want to uh, put on the dress. Here I go. Oh my god. Wait. He has the date on the groundbreaker? What a mess. What a mess. Good to see you, boss. I love how everyone, like, everyone gets in their rooms for Parvati's date. Anyhow, so I told him, Dad, I'm a big girl now. I ain't need your help. I can do it on my lonesome. 
What did he say to that? Have at it, then. And he handed me his favorite wrench, the one he used for the canner. He was probably half as tall as I was. He didn't scold you for talking back to him? Nah, he was never like that. I always thought it was funny when I get indignant about something. Then he'd watch me do whatever it was, make sure I didn't get hurt, but he'd never interfere. I learned a lot that way. I wish I could have met him. Anyone who helped shape you must have been a special person. So, so... Look at me. All dressed up for once. I could see why Parvati seems so happy here. I'm having the best time. Oh, excuse me. What about your mama? I, I don't mean to pry, you just hardly mention her and I I've been wondering. She passed when I was small. Taught me how to change a fuse on her deathbed. Even sick, she was patient with me. She kept exhaustive journals of my childhood, my father said. Like she was A-B testing child rearing. Must be you got that exacting nature from her. Exacting is a kind way to put it. Inflexible, my father would have said. Bullheaded. Cold. He's figuring more. If you're cold, then I'm the void of space. Cold. That's the silliest thing I ever heard. I... Thank you. So good! Makes me so happy. <laughs> like you're literally... You're literally playing dad. Check in on the date. You should leave the ship. Ellie, Felix. You can, I, you can just call Parvati away from her date. Why would you do that? How is there not like a check against exactly that? They're on their date. How a little girl is growing up. Is leaving the ship triggers the end of it? Ah, okay. That makes sense. Still gonna head over and buy that, uh, shirt, though. Now I probably just need to get back in. You got anything for me? Barely. Holy shit. Let's see. Need that. I do need. Uh, Lima. That's some. That's some okay armor. Like, that's okay, Arma. Wait, no. We don't want Spacer's Choice. She actively, explicitly said that. We were explicitly told not to buy Spacer's Choice. Holy sh... It. That's a big gun. I don't think it's the biggest gun I'm using, but big gun nonetheless. The quest doesn't actually care. 
I am I am a fool. I am a fool. I am upset spaghetti. What is spit? I was ever trying to figure it out, I just looked up because I got frustrated. So with that, I've done the trick. Because if it'll do the trick, I'll just buy that armor back. Ah, oh, I can't. Fuck me. I'll buy this armor then. If that, like that armor looks like it'll do it. Fuck you. I don't have enough. The only actual space I give to the end is the hibernation pod suit and helmet. That's that's fair. Now I could probably sell some of this. Like just a little bit. Oh wow, that's really not even worth it. Like all that armor all that only gets me that much. Holy shit, okay. Let's see, let's actually look and see some of this stuff. Is your tech skills? Might use that. Might use that. Magazine size, I'm a melee build. Armoring rating, very good. Range weapon skills, pass. A scope. Oh, thank you. Oh, what's this one? Those of your DTD made with you a critical hit. I do like that. I do like that. Pass. And after penetration, pass. Penetration. Zing. Okay. Back on the ship. I'm just surprised there weren't any, like, more... I mean, I guess, actually, I probably have the nicest restaurant on the ship. Like, when I really get down to thinking about it, compared to what's probably considered high food on the Groundbreaker... The Unreliable is probably the best date spot on a ship. And that's a little sad. Captain, if you're looking for crew members Ellie or Felix, they're sharing it. Have you noticed how our crew's a lot like that crime family from the Masked Marketeer? Okay, but who's Sam? Come on, Ellie. Sam ain't people. I guess Sam ain't Chairman people. Rockwell on that one cameo appearance. <laughs> I heard they had an automech read those lines because the actors were afraid of offending the chairman. And what about me? A scion of Byzantium turned to banditry? You've got to be the masked marketeer. I hope they fuck. Okay, Captain. She's gone. I want all the details. I feel like running laps around the cargo bay. So she got here, and, well, she sneezed. She said, wow, new soap? And I was like, yeah, rosish. <laughs> Turns out it tickled her nose. Oops. And then she just sort of touched my arm real gentle-like and called the cut of my outfit elegant. I couldn't hear the rest on account of my heart was beating so hard. <gasps> then I led her into the kitchen. I think she about cried when she saw the spread. So you, so you laid out the meal, brought Yun in, and started the music? She stood stock still and just said, Oh, real soft. Oh, and let me tell you, I was sweating. And then she blinked and said, Is that dustback casserole? I told her how we got Mr. Raymond to bake it for us, so it was double authentic. Made by a real live... Monar monarchian? Monarchist? Monarchist. Monarchist. So the meal went well? 
A dessert too? Well, we talked a bunch over dinner about the things we learned just through messages, stuff we repaired, how I taught her to salvage and she taught me to build. When I brought out the sweetheart cakes, June, she got a little teary, said she had a thing she needed to say. But I stopped her because I wanted to say it first. I never felt so bold, Captain. And? I told her about how she made me feel. Bold like I acted. Strong. Smarter and kinder than I am on my lonesome. I listed all the things I liked about her. And then she pulled out a paper and read a speech. She, she talked about the things she admired about me, like my cleverness and my humor and how it made her want to be more open. What happened next? Don't li leave me in suspense. Anyhow, when she wrapped up, I asked her to be my girlfriend. And Captain, she said yes! And then she sneezed again, on account of the flowery soap. That was very sweet. Congratulations. It's all on your account, you know. Imagine if you'd never taken me out of Edgewater. I'd have never met Junlei at all. I don't know nothing about the law or the capital P plan, but you sure changed my life. So, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna head to my cabin and happy scream into my pillow for like an hour. I gained what? I just want to see if they actually have to do that. Howards. Howards, I tell you. Want to be a brand new you? Try out our respecification machine. Alex installed it himself, right before he died. Oh, so that's a respect thing. Okay. Which one of the items is that? Framed photograph. This photo was a gift from Jun Lei to commemorate her first date with Parvati. The inscription on their back reads, to my wildflower, thank you for an enchanting evening. Looking forward to many more. Oh. So good! That's so good! Best quest. Best quest. Best quest. Best quest. Absolutely best quest. Oh, I can boost my armor. I didn't think about that. I could bump this up a little bit more. Eh. So, is that it? Did we yep, we did it. That's it. Iconoclast, Mavado, and Spacer. Wearing any of those. Do I have any of those on my person? Oh, that's Spacer. Because if it's not, I don't know what it's. But we're going to go do Ellie's quest next. We'll bring Ellie and Felix. We've given Parvati enough spotlight today. We'll 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 put her on the sidelines for now, even though she's my favorite character. Mostly just because I want to see how I think Felix reacting to uh Eating Ellie's parents is going to be quite funny. Like, he seems like he'd be a fun character to have for that one. I 
I was also considering Nioka, but eh. I love how the game gives you a picture of Parvati and Yunlei. Just to go, we all know you want this, here you go. And then the game just walks away smiling, knowing exactly what it's done. All right. Prosperity Plaza. So now that we've had, now that we've had some cute romance shit, who's ready for the fucking opposite? I love how they just bring out, uh, Burbage 2000 and Burbage 3000. Alright, let's make sure we're on the low crusade. Although I only wish they weren't showing so many spacers choice. Who do they think their audience is? Poor people. Spacer's Choice does market to poor people. I'm kinda surprised that they are even in uh like they even have a market in Byzantium. So, question for you. What do you think of this? I can't. What can I? Do? It's not. I thought it might be. Okay, sure. The manager. Damn, you could wear some dapper shit. Not nice, not good shit, but dapper shit. Sadly, that means that this is not what I'm looking for. So, gone with it. I don't know what to do now. Well, that we might have to actually find something with a Is thing on there. Idiots probably face down on the bar by now. Take it easy. Not like you can get into any trouble passed out. Uh. Carry on. He's dead. Died drinking, like actively. I don't know how to tell you that. <laughs> Today marks a monumentous occasion in the course of Halcyon history. After a deep and thorough examination of our budgets, revenue streams, and predictive models, By we are publishing our yearly success report. Profits are soaring. Promotions abound. Oh, yay. The Zantium Estates, built on the backs of the working class. Hey, that was good. I gotta write that down. <laughs> It's like, that was, that was cool. You must think you're pretty tough. Why better nail down the details? I can't wait to share what's in store. Very proud of himself. There's my parents' place. Smell that? Industrial grade cleaning solvent and desperation. Oh. Uh, ah, so it's not me this time. Whew. <laughs> Felix was a good idea. This is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. Oh my god. So gaudy. I just walk into Yulmore and Shadowbringers? Christ. This is disgusting looking. Marilyn, is that you? Marilyn. Oh, we certainly didn't expect to see you like this. And I didn't expect you to renew your marriage contract. But we're all full of surprises today, aren't we? Speaking of surprises, you should meet my new friend. We've been running around the system for a while now, stirring up all sorts of trouble. <laughs> Fancy place. I'll probably be taking a few things with me. There you go again, Captain. Always menacing, polite society. Anyway, you're probably wondering where I've been all this time. Not <clears throat> exactly. With a spoon. The last few years have been a bloody haze. You wouldn't believe the messes we've gotten ourselves into. Right? 
That's such a posh name. Theft, vandalism, profanity, you name it, we've done it at least twice. Yep, we're a pair of disgraceful lowlifes. Marilyn, this really isn't the best time. Uh, perhaps you should go. Not really, no. We'll leave when we are good and ready. You tell him. We'll stay as long as we like. And while we're at it, we'll drink your expensive hooch, wear our outside shoes all over your nice floors. Keep going, Ellie. I like where that list is headed. Just a second. You had the floors redone with real Terran marble? Since when can you afford that? That's what we've been trying to tell you, dear, but you must understand, we hadn't heard from you in ages. We thought you were dead. Now, don't so sound disappointed about it. I'm not dead. I just never wanted to talk to you again. I'm afraid the distinction was lost on us, darling. What did you do? Why, we did what any grieving parents would do. We collected on your life insurance policy. And the payouts have been rather, uh, substantial. You what? Talk about making lemons slap out of lemons. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna let that one go. Well, now that I'm here, I guess you'll just have to report back that I'm very much alive and kicking. It's not that simple. For one thing, we'd have to cut back on so many necessities. The neighbors would be sure to notice. So tell them Ellie's back. It'll be the talk of the town. That's the other problem. We had to explain your disappearance somehow. We couldn't very well tell people you'd you'd run off to become a a miscreant, could we? Oh boy. I'll have you know Ellie's a professional miscreant. Shh. Someone could hear you. We concocted a story about Celeste Jolly Girl designing a pair of 12-inch heels for you. One of a kind, naturally. That led to your tragic death when you tripped and broke your neck. It was quite the story. People were talking about it for weeks. Ellie, are you done with these jokes? Not until I get some answers. Couldn't you have at least made up a better story? Something with pirates or raptors? Good, I know, right? And what are you gonna do now that we're here? Yes, um, about that. We were just about to ask you to uh, leave. Quietly, if you don't mind. You people should be ashamed of yourselves. Well, we're trying to avoid further embarrassment. I'm afraid it would cause quite a stir if the neighbors saw you two stomping about. I'm. That's it. I'm going to you stomp just a want lot. Want to disappear now, Marilyn? Please. Don't cause a scene. I don't know about you, Ellie, but I'm ready to cause a scene. Let's just get out of here, Captain. Fine. I'm gone. Forever this time. No! No! Let's talk outside. Wants to talk outside. I'm just. Mm, I don't want to do take backs, but I also really want to blow this man's head off. Oh, a fearless motherfucker. Mm. I 
don't want to do it, but I totally want to do it! did you do? I didn't like how things went down either, but did you have to go and kill them? You expect me to believe you're feeling sentimental? Me being mad doesn't mean I wanted you to murder them. You're on your own now. Consider my debt to you forgotten and cancelled. That's it? It sure better be. Now go! Holy shit. Was there no way out of that? Because if you do that, and everyone told me to do that, you fuckers. All you people told me to do that. Except Trader. Trader was a good boy. <laughs> Wrath of Edgewater. Oh, so you just wanted me to murder the entirety of uh I didn't tell you to Very valid. If this ends in me killing Ellie's parents anyway, I swear to God. If she turns around and goes, I want to kill my parents. talk yes can you believe those two we'd hardly been there a minute and they turned us out like yesterday's garbage they shouldn't have gotten so upset I wanted them to get upset I just thought it would play out differently they'd both be sitting there watching one of their vapid aether wave dramas and then we'd walk in mother would drop her mock apple cider and the glass would shatter all over their overpriced marble. Father would tear off his glasses and blink open-mouthed. And then what? I'd have a great one-liner in the tube. I was thinking either, the leather's fake but the scars are real, or... Oops, did I just track awesome onto your rug? How about, it's payback time and I'm collecting with interest. Yeah, I'm gonna use that one day. Now, getting back to my story. Father would throw his hands up, because this would be just like me, to come back and make a big scene. Then, Mother would do the old, You had us worried sick. Her eyes would be red, and she'd have her fist in front of her mouth. To she wanted her parents to care. Really hurt, aren't you? I'm not hurt. I'm outraged. Affronted, even. I just didn't want to get booted out of the house I grew up in like that. It's embarrassing, you know. And I've got a reputation to maintain. It's a rough situation. I'm used to rough situations. Like when someone loads your pistol with blanks and strands you in a Marauder Moon base. Or traps you in an airlock with an angry mantis worm. It's 
this episode reflects on them, not you. But I want to talk about me now. You gotta surround yourself with the people who really look out for you. Unless you mean the kind who look out for you to blink so they could swipe your bits. The galaxy's not exactly crawling with those. Anyway, I don't want to sift through this lousy experience for meaningful life lessons. I'm mad. Tell your parents? And I want to do something about it. Tell your parents? Something like... Wait a second. What if I could get that money? Keep talking. Keep talking. I could open a new account, designate that account holder as a sole beneficiary, all the payouts would go to me. I'll make money without doing a thing. And I'll get to cut them off. Quite the role of vessel. As long as I don't develop a taste for Wolgonzola and bad legal dramas, that's fine by me. And then we kill them. My policy is with the Greater Halcyon Insurance Group. They have an office in Byzantium. Maybe you could use some of your people skills to help me set up a dummy beneficiary account. If that doesn't work, I'm sure we can find one of their terminals and do it ourselves. I can do one of those things. Ho ho ho! Delightfully capitalist, Ellie. Something on your mind? I'm a surgeon. Not my Fuck. No complaints What here? greater death is there in turbo capitalism than losing your fortune? Right, like, I actually think this is worse than killing them. We're hitting them where they actually care. I just actually also kind of wanted to kill them. So, you're, uh, you're really running around with us now, huh? Sure am. I'm a part of the crew now. Got my own bunk and everything. You know, Felix, now that you're a real pirate, I should induct you into the pirate's code of silence. Ooh, the code of silence. What's that? He's so gullible. It means you agree not to talk for a very long time. He's very gullible. Oh, hey, look. It's the place. Oh, no, that's not the place. Never doubt me. Is this not the... Oh, okay. The sole letter in this mailbox addressed to the Greater Halcyon Insurance Group's satellite office on Fallbrook on the planet Monarch. I guess we're going to Fallbrook. Yes, we are. I'm not even going to try stealing from these people. They probably just blow my head off of doing anything. So wait, hang on. What if we bankrupt her parents and then we kill her parents? And we do it while she's not in the party, so she never knows. That count? It's like... Well, that whole situation just makes me a little upsetting in the spaghetti. Oh, they're having a drink. Captain? Felix, take it from me. Never get close to anyone. They'll just let you down. Yeah, but sometimes you gotta get close to people, you know? How else are you gonna land a sneak attack? <laughs> That's good. For a second, I was worried you were gonna say something mushy. Oh, you were being serious? Well, what about us? We never let you down, right? Hey, I don't take it personal. You look out for you, I look out for me. Law of the universe, you know? Besides, that's what's great about a ship like this. When things get weird, you leave. I hope you stick around. The ship wouldn't be the same without you. Don't go getting mushy on me now. Yes. Don't look at me, look at him. Be quick about it. <laughs> Shh. 
Shit. I just want my picture of my people being cute. Too far. Don't look down on me. Got it. Oh, fuck. It didn't even count. Just look, fuck you. All I wanted was a picture. And they couldn't even do that for me. Bumpy. We're now in orbit above Fallbrook, Captain. Bumpy Grouch. All I wanted was to get a cute picture of Ellie and Felix. All I wanted. I ship them because they're cute. They're a bunch of mini. Like, Ellie, Ellie and Felix are so cute together because they, they're constantly up there having drinks and Felix is constantly breaking her down and making her better. It's adorable. And then Nioka is also there. A journal will always be equipped in your inhaler unless you run out. Uh, why, why am I? Oh, I didn't even know that. Okay, sure. Oh, no, okay. I can walk down this way and walk down that way. <laughs> now we go here. This looks like a place. You ready to get my money or what? Hell yeah. Welcome to the offices of the Greater Halcyon Insurance Group, Halcyon's premier provider of life and disaster related insurance. I'm obligated to inform you that our coverage does not extend to incidents deemed to result from negligence, criminal activity, or dullness of mind. Dullness of mind? Some people, but no one in this office, I assure you, might call it stupidity. <laughs> hey, you can't heal stupid. stupid. So, what kind of insurance package can I interest you in? We're running a special on dismemberment policies. Buy one, get one half off. <laughs> I like that. Why is your office on Monarch? We're not on Monarch. For all practical and tax-related purposes, this office is an official enclave of Byzantium. If you say so. Oh, it's certainly not about what I say. That's all down to our legal team and our CFO. Fair enough. I need you to change the beneficiary of uh, Marilyn Fenhill's life insurance policy. I remember that one. That's the young socialite who broke her neck, right? Of course, no one remembers me for the marauders I've killed or the bits I've stolen. Typical. That claim was airtight. Our best investigators couldn't find an exclusion for that one. Let's stay on top. Oh, what else can you tell me? Are you serious? Well... We interviewed the parents extensively. They had plenty of awkward childhood stories that illustrated their daughter's clumsiness and capriciousness. Oh. Hey, those are entirely made up. Furthermore, the claim spurred a whole line of fashion-related policies. It's become a very lucrative market. So how would I amend that claim? You can't, of course. Only Miss Fenhill can assign her beneficiaries. And she's dead. If we let every friend, relative, and acquaintance change a policy like that, people would do it all the time. Imagine the paperwork. Marilyn Fanhill isn't dead. Of course she is. The paperwork says so. I like to think she's dead in spirit, but technically, legally, and regretfully, I'm still Marilyn Fanhill. That's impossible. By all accounts, she was an elegant and classy woman with impossibly fine bone structure. That couldn't possibly be you. 
That's gotta be the nicest thing anyone said to me in a long while. <laughs> How would I change it? Oh, you mean hypothetically. Well, hypothetically, you'd access the terminal in the back room that contains data on all our policies. And you'd theoretically add the beneficiary of your choice. But you wouldn't actually do that, of course. That would be fraud. Wink. <laughs> you'll be do you'll do this or you'll be filing your own claim. Please. My policy only covers paper cuts and wrist strain. Very well. I'll do it. But then you've got to go. Confrontations like this will raise my premiums. I'll need the name of the new beneficiary. Um, Ellie Fenhill. If you say so. Paper cuts. The payouts Paper will cuts are dangerous. exclusively into the new account at the start of the month. I hope Ms. Fenhill enjoys her newfound prosperity. Thank you. Can we talk? You just l let people wander around in your facilities, don't you? You really did it. Give these payouts a few years and I'll be rolling in it. How does it feel? I've never been prouder to stand back and watch someone else work. I'm just glad my folks aren't going to live off that awful story they made up. Maybe now they'll have to go back to real jobs. What are you gonna do with all real jobs? Maybe as line holders or warm bodies? Those are real jobs? Oh, sure. You've got to wait in line for just about anything in Byzantium. And not everyone has the time or inclination to do it themselves. Oof. As for warm bodies, some companies like to keep extra workers on site to look more productive. And they just do nothing? Oh no, there's lots of paper shuffling and pen clicking that goes on. The really good ones know how to leave sticky notes in just the right places. See, this is why I had to get out of Byzantium. Not sure what comes next for me though. I've never been much of a planner. Why not? Maybe you haven't noticed, but you can't even count on a bribe making it into the right pocket. What's the point of planning for anything around here? That's the kind of thinking that's funny. This place isn't into the crapper. Hate to say it, but Halcyon's already there. Anyway, enough of that. You did a job for me, so here's your fee. I appreciate it, but I didn't do this for the money. Don't make it weird. Even you've got to be in it for the money now and then. Why else would you go through all this trouble? My friend, Ellie. That's what friends do. Are you sure? Because my kind of friends will pick your pocket clean while they're getting hammered with you. I'm a doer, not a... Friendship is important. What else are we fighting for if not for the people we care about? You don't have to get all mushy about it. Still, maybe you've got a point. Maybe it's good to watch someone's back now and then so that one day, they watch yours. So... You just keep the money. One of us has to look out for your interests. Thanks. Don't mention it. Really, this feels weird enough as it is. <laughs> Wanna talk about something else? Something on your mind? Be good not. Level up! Maybe we should start boosting this. I'm on a lot of drugs. See. That'll do. And my pokes. I like that. I like that a lot. What's up here? Let's see. On each crit. Not bad. I am going to take the armor.
Let me just, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm curious. Can't keep us out. I'm just curious. I'm just curious. Officer's spine. That's like a badass name for a weapon. Ah, it's just the basic. I, I already had one of them. At something over there, I might want it. Let's see. Parents in a gentleman's way show several chips at Billingsley's regarding the nature of composition of Spacer's Choice product, tarmac and cheese. I was quite certain the product did contain actual tarmac, and my companions wagered that it surely did not. Lo and behold, the investigation into the matter revealed that I had been the victim of a gross misunderstanding. Yet how was I supposed to know what matter of affair company factory workers eat? And how could Spacer's Choice be so irresponsible as to advertise that its product contains tarmac when it clearly does not? The damage to my reputation has been most grievous. I find myself unable to return to my previous haunts for fear that the stares and chuckles that will follow. My honor as a gentleman has been caused into question, as has the nature of my relationship with livestock. Denied improper fi fi Denied improper formwork, claimant forgot to say the magic word. I've been assistant saw operator with CMP for five years. My most of claim loss of one fingers. Wait, what was the claim for the other one? Loss of gentlemanly honor. Um, most of the blade guards broke last year and management never replaced them. I lost my left ring finger last week as a result. Denied. Negligible damage. Claimant is right handed, so the magnitude of loss is minimal. Updated claim. Loss of three fingers. The saw I was working on came loose yesterday on account of CMP skipping routine maintenance checks. The axe that took two fingers from my right hand and uh, from left. Denied. Self disqualification. Emma was missing a finger of previous incident and should not have been operating sharp machinery. Four loss of fingers. Denied. Claim unintelligible. <laughs> What's going on, train? Loss of one worker. Assistant saw operator Fanny Cartwright lost several digits due to carelessness and negligence. She failed to heed prominently posted warnings about the state of safety equipment, and her resultant injuries have decreased our factory's productivity and led to multiple stress headaches for management, as we've struggled to reshuffle worker schedules around 16J. Approved. Why am I not even surprised? Just like, denied, denied, approved, of course. I can take a hint. There we go. So, how's your Sunday been, train? Guess that was that. Oh, hang on. You should probably make a stop by uh, one of these places and see if they don't have some uh, armor. Do you have any armor, sir? Elite troop. Nah, that's not actual armor. It's just bullshit. I can now purchase resist, uh, restricted stock. I don't see any restricted stock. Who do I gotta kill to get some decent uh, now, gear? There's a woman who knows what she wants. I like her. She's about as welcoming as a wrench to the face, and half as tender. <laughs> Speaking to my left ear, will you? Right one's damaged. Last we talked, I only caught I half like of what you said. Well. I'm half listening. Found one of your sublight supply runners hiding in a cave. I'll presume you mean Arthur. The one you sent scurrying back like a sprat with his tail cut off? Reckon I'm happy he's alive. 
I'd be happier if the marauders who botched my drop were dead. That's enough. I don't believe there's anything else for me to do there. I could just slap someone across the skull, but meh. I feel like murder is generally frowned upon. So I guess we just go back to the Byzantium now. We just go back to the main quest. I feel, I feel like it's been so long since we've gone done the main quest. Rock. Is it rock time? I think I guess it's rock time. I love how you're setting so many rocks that like they it literally can't process how many rocks you're sending. Why are we sending so many rocks? Not today, Sam. I am not in the mood for a deep clean. Oh, all right. Some culprit who shall not be named smelled Rizzo's lemon slap on my console. He's in the mood for a deep clean. Greetings, customers. There's a main quest? I know, I'm scared too. I don't remember what it is, but I'm pretty sure it's important. Something about uh, saving some guys on a thing. I, I don't know. It's awful confusing. Good luck, Captain. Let's get Felix and Neoka. I don't think we've used them in a thing yet. But yeah, uh, train. We uh, finished Parvati's second side quest, and uh, we did Ellie's the correct way. After doing it the wrong way. You deceiver. Manta Swarm examined. I can't believe you will. I don't know why either. Bunch of fuckers. Terraforming is a young science for humans, and the results have been shitty. I could bash your head in and nobody would know. So, where do we need to be? Yeah. Oh, we don't want to go to Odeon Pictures. We've already been to Odeon Pictures. The only other quest that we have is getting a bunch of outfits for the one chick, and... Eh. Although, Nyoka is wearing, uh... Monarch armor, so I might be able to just steal her armor. Get a suit. Ooh, nice. I like suits. I might be able to just pull off uh Ioka's armor. I know a guy who Uh where is Nioka? When it's control armor? Oh, she's only wearing a 19. Girl, we can do you better than that. What this bad boy on there? Then that armor, what is it? 22? No, it's not. 41. Wait, was it, is it, was that meant to be my armor? Oh no, I, I'm wearing a 46. That's my old armor. Here you go. It tasted fresh because it was... Uh, fair? I've Why do they air Spacer's Choice ads in Poor People Town? Suh. I can't. This good? No? Okay, fuck off. Why don't I just steal this hat from you? 
Rich people town, you mean? Yes. I love Byzantium. What oh, bitch, bitch town? If Hortense yells at me about vagrants one more time. I hear you're into Graham's philosophist hogwash, Felix. Yeah, if by philosophist hogwash you mean the virtues of enlightened anarchy. Organization oh. separates us from the animals. You ever seen a rap delay plumbing? You see sprats running around building roads? Maybe the folks we have at the top ain't exactly leadership material. But if we tore the whole thing down, we'd be kings and queens of a wasteland. Boom. Uh, correction? Kings and queens of an awesome wasteland. I'll take toilets over freedom any day of the week. Anarchism is you just not a good I'll philosophy. I have ID the board. I don't think I have that ID. This property is off limits. Solicitors, loiterers, and uninvited visitors will be fined to the fullest extent of company policy. This ultimatum <laughs> brought to you by Universal Defense Logistics. I'm here for Minister Clark. Well, that's funny. The minister isn't expecting visitors, and you don't much look like one of those couriers from HPS. Yep, I am. Sure you are. And what is it you're delivering today? Death! <laughs> I didn't bring it with me. Typical. Why don't you come back when you're ready to actually make a delivery? Yeah, well. Help. Eat. Here they come! Watch the cat! Ah! Ooh, that had to hurt! In fairness, that's about right. I don't know why I expected anything different. What I miss? I unlocked a door and was immediately attacked. I don't know why he said, don't go this way. So I walked up and unlocked the door because I figured I have the key. That means I must be allowed to be here. Even though I totally could have stolen the key. Which I did. So in complete fairness... Hey, no, I killed two people, and if they're still angry in me inside, I'm probably going to be killing a lot more. Oh, yeah, we are absolutely... Okay. Doesn't count. We're what? probably... Something. Yep, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Sweet. Ooh. This is the big stick God warned you about. Shot cannon ultra? Maybe. Uh, Felix, what are you packing? Are you packing anything good? A 320? Oh, we can do better. Let's see. Anything else? We did just kill, like, six people. Maybe we could find an ID to make it so that we can stop killing people eventually. Oh, that's even better. Here you go, Felix. Have a better gun. Uh, what about you? No? How did you get in here? That is your only question right now. You! You just slaughtered those guards, and for what? To speak with me? What could possibly be so urgent? I don't know if I trust this so-called minister fella, if that is his real name. It's not, but... If this is about another Aether Wave clip or radio spot, you may kindly fuck off, as the parlance goes. <laughs> I'm not doing any more. You can kindly fuck off. What are you talking about? Slowly and loudly, Aloysius, that's the only way these morons understand anything. I said, you may tell Charles to go fuck himself. 
I'm just here to ask you some questions. Call me a moron again and I'll end you. Oh, terribly sorry. I thought you were part of Rockwell's PR team. But if you're not, that means you're a dissident? A real live dissident? Finally, high time we got the recognition we deserve. Wait. And so affable. Why, you're nothing like the crazed hooligans the board loves to caricature. Is this going well? But what are you doing here? And how did you get in? I'm the one. Wait, you think I'm a dissident? My friend, the slightest demonstration of independent thought or action renders one a dissident in the board's rather expansive definition of the term. This is going well. Which is why I'm dying to know what brought you here. How is this going well? I'm looking for dimethyl sulfoxide. Drugs, of course. What else? Why did I get my hopes up? Back to idiot speak. I don't have any drugs. You should try a vending machine or a purveyor of curative goods. I ain't buying a bus. I said we check him for drugs. Will that be all then? Don't kill him. I didn't come all this way to play games, Clock. It's your name on the receipts. Oh dear, I don't think I can say this any more slowly. Unless... Of course, of course. It's Rockwell again, who else? And I thought he was only holding me here to keep me out of the way. You better start making sense real fast. Chairman Rockwell. He's kept me under house arrest for years. I've long suspected him of transacting business in my name, but this proves it. So the chairman's a crook who can't be trusted? Who knew? Please. <laughs> I love important. Felix. Bringing him along was perfect. Whatever it is that brought you here, Rockwell's the one behind. The chairman's bad. Who knew? You expect me to believe this? After seeing this place, is it really a stretch? I've been confined to this house for years, and even I can tell you, things aren't right in Halcyon. Whatever Rockwell's doing, he'll be doing it from the HHC headquarters. Your best lead is to look for details in his office. If by look for details, he means knock things about and take what we like, count me in. That's certainly one way of doing things. Far be it from me to dictate your methods. This colony's problems have always seemed to trickle down from the top. If we're set on fixing Halcyon, that's as good a place as any to start. She ain't wrong. Exactly. And fix it we must. Why, this is starting to sound like an issue of Dissident Hunter. You seem a little too excited by all. Just tell me how to get there. Via the Acropolis District, of course. That's where the most important corporate and government facilities are. But only board employees are allowed into the district. There's a heavily guarded checkpoint just down the street. And you're going to give me your ID. There might be a route through the maintenance tunnels, but I'm afraid I don't know specifics. Most people avoid the area for obvious reasons. Obvious reasons? They're rather dirty. There are also rumors of sprat infestations, faulty auto mechanicals, and other unsavory hazards. If that sort of thing bothers you. Not particularly, but... Once I get into the Acropolis District, what then? When you reach the HHC building, this access card should get you up to the executive suites, where the chairman's office and what used to be my office are. How does that not just get me into the thing? How'd you... what? How'd you... The board's lackeys are none too bright. I simply claimed I'd lost it and hid it somewhere no one would think to look. Ew. Do I want to know? I merely hid it in a book. No one reads anything longer than a few pages around here. Yeah. There are a few advantages to dealing with imbeciles. Thanks for your help. Wait! Brockwell has one of the only terminals capable of transmitting to the Earthbound message drone. This is our chance. Please, Ooh. take this and transmit it from his office. Brockwell hasn't given me any messages from Earth for years. He's desperate to keep me out of contact with the Earth Directorate. This guy interesting. But they need to know what's happening here. Okay. What's on the cartridge? What isn't on it is the real question. I've gathered meeting minutes, internal messages, 
sustainability reports, and more, all exposing the corruption and mismanagement plaguing Halcyon. Once the rest of the Earth Directorate sees it, they'll have to send help. Doubt, but good shot. Us you gathered up a whole mess of evidence on no the board's corruption. No messages from Earth. Questions, questions. How big he is hasn't seen any. Again? Large enough, I assure you. That's why you must transmit the data to the Earth Directorate and hope for their speedy intervention. How long will that take? Depending on the nature of their response, months at least, perhaps years. Organizing and sending personnel all the way out here is no mean feat. Well, it's something. And now I entrust it to you. Good luck and trust no one in the Acropolis district. Transition to Byzantium. We are ransacking this place. Just for our trouble. This place attacked me. Well, I guess, okay, I guess that's it. I thought there'd be, I thought there'd be more. You literally broke in. Semantics. Semantics, semantics. I like to believe that I, I had the key. Sema semantics, exactly. Semantics matter. I had the key. I didn't just barge in like a maniac. I had a key. I opened the door like a normal person. Is it breaking and entering if you have the key? I'm not even breaking at that point. It's just entering. You can't have B and E without the B. It's like a blow job without the blow. It's just a job. What the fuck are we going to do? Unlawful trespass is still a crime. That one I can't argue. Fuck. <laughs> Where did you get that? Is that just one of the default emotes for a uh, mixer for a uh, mixer plus Never. Uh I I figured rock rock gang And of course it loads me right here because God hates me Hopefully it at least loads us quickly. I also have no idea what I'm doing here. But I'm gonna figure it out. Because, like, it gives me the ability to go this way. It must be something I can do. It's just going to take me eight. And I'm going to save here. So I can at least load to here next time when I die. Because, yike. Like, this is... I love the game. These are some Bloodborne load times. It's not breaking and entering if I have the key. We smart. Smart boys. Big brain. Big brain plays. Free money. Fuck! Uh, no. Catch yourself uh, up! Boss! <laughs> okay, in fairness, that one was kind of stupid. This is why we saved. <coughs> I'm not I'm not trying to be stupid, it just comes naturally.
Okay. We got this, boys. You said it, not me. Hey, I know what I said. I can admit it. I'm a strong man. I'm a strong, independent man that don't need no man. Oh, this is what, I think it's just supposed to, like, climb down here like a normal human. Ah! Ow. Felix plays Outer Worlds. Crabs. Are you going to be mad at me? Yes, you are. Yeah. Now that was fun. Oh, this isn't even the right way to go. This is just another entrance into his house. Breaking in again, I see. You know, that's actually a good question. Hey, Train, since you have legal, uh, know-how, if you break and enter someone's house, leave, and then break and enter their house again from a different door, can you get, uh, charged with breaking and entering twice? <laughs> that you can? That's awesome. I love it. That's like such a dumb technicality. You broke an oh, enter like from three this. different angles, so it counted as breaking and entering three times. Beep. Vibrations on me, folks. Probably wouldn't, but you technically could. Like. I think that's a- I think that's just a legal dick move. Like, they can, but come on. When we get into legal- like, when we get into the laws, like, the legal system literally pulling dick moves, I think we've gone too far. Damn, I got some nimble fingers, Captain. That is... Well, I mean, that's that's literally what she said. I can't even comment about that very well. So now we leave naturally. Now that we have ransacked the entire house. Well, I mean, what's he gonna do about it? I, I didn't take any of his food. He can eat. And I didn't even kill all of his guards. I just killed all of the ones that were in the house. I didn't kill everybody. I mean, he could eat even if he didn't have food. You did kill him. Not all of them. Not all of them. Very distinct difference. That means if he's still on house arrest, you don't get what I'm saying. I, no, I have. I know. I, I, I killed the people. I'm a bad person. I need to be put in the timeout corner. His cards are now dead, so he won't start. Oh god, that's don't you must Oh there! That's one right there. Can't you just see the stench of impropriety radiating off of him? For the last time. Oh splendid. Another rung leech wandering through the streets of Byzantium. Why, just this morning, I thought to myself, as lovely as the gardens are, what they really need is more greasy vagrants frolicking through them. Did you do the clown you makeup are. yourself? Frolicking. Well, do I frolic? Frolicking is for sprats. You're a captain. You prance. Well, whatever you call it, <laughs> do it elsewhere, and take your merry band with you. Honestly, what is the board thinking letting so many of your ilk into the city proper? It's madness. Queen. If the board isn't supposed to let people into the city, how'd you get in here? I earned my place here, just like everyone else. My grandfather oh, Mary was Men. CIO at Tile, you see. Wait, but what did you do to earn your place here? I just told you. 
My grandfather made millions of bits as CIO, and I earned them from him. Inheriting bits isn't the same as earning them. Of course it is. Wealth is the most visible, objective measure of success. And success isn't given to you, it's earned. My grandfather taught me that. If you have wealth, you're successful, and if you're successful, you must have earned it. Honestly, it's a simple concept. What's a CIO? Chief Idea Officer. He came up with all the best ideas for their products. You know the font they use for Stogie Slims? That was him. Well, he described the idea of it to their font development team, then picked it from a list of choices, but that's basically the same thing. It was a very long list. I see, thank you. You're welcome. Now, do we have any further business, or are you just here for the repartee? What's wrong with more people coming to Byzantium? What's wrong? It erodes the very pillars of our society. Merit, decorum, personal hygiene. This city is meant for us, the system's finest. We earned its luxuries. But now we are overrun with the unworthy and the ungrateful, and this early retirement nonsense is making it even worse. It's a terrible attitude. You really shouldn't look down on people like that. Oh, do spare me your petty judgment. It's beneath me. Millions and millions of bits beneath me. By simply winning a lottery, those early retirees get an exclusive district of Byzantium to themselves. No one else is even allowed to go there. Tell me, how is that fair? Well, most contests have some inherent biases, so technically... Oh, by the law. I mean the principle of it, not the mechanics. It's not right. I deserve to see any district I please. Why, if it weren't guarded, I'd... Hmm. You know, you look like you've been shot at before. What say I hire you to investigate this travesty, and you get paid to do so? No, she ain't wrong, boss. We do got a knack for getting shot at. Yes. Listen to your... Your... Choose your words carefully. What is that person's job, exactly? Are they your secretary? Personal masseuse? Or do you just keep them around as a mobile armrest? Well, it doesn't matter. What's important is that you mm. think this is a fabulous arrangement, and you'd be thrilled to lend me your services. Aren't you? Why would I ever help you with something so selfish? Did you miss the part where I said I'd pay you? That's all the reasons someone like you should require. Well, it's not. Give me something better. <sighs> I do like money. Fantastic. Consider yourself employed, Vagrant. I hear the chosen retirees all enter the retirement district via the port landing pad, but it's completely locked down. You'd never get in that way. Feelings of attraction and Unless, of course, you, you had just want a her wealthy, step beautiful benefactor of impeccable social pedigree, which you do. How fortunate for you. These codes will get you past the lockdown. Oh, and don't worry about subtlety. I don't care how you deal with security, just correct this injustice at all costs. Clown makeup over here is very... This is very okay with wanton murder. Also, how did you get access to these codes? The same way anyone gets anything here, of course. I made friends with the right people. Bits might earn you a place in Byzantium, but that means everyone here has little need for more of them. For favors like this, you need to spend... Let's call it social capital. You suck dick, got it. What's this here? I don't have an estate key. What's an estate key? I call them back from a time. Did that conversation just take place in front of a god? Yes! Uh, I'll do that later. I'm closer to this quest. The Acropolis District is off limits. Move along. Mind if I take a breather? I'm pretty tired after hauling around all these bits. What in the law's name are you on about?
He's 28,000. That is a lot of bits. This is embarrassing. I was going to bribe you, but I just realized I don't have enough on me. Honest mistake. Why don't you come back another time and we can take this from the top? I'm not looking for trouble. I just want in. Yeah, and I'd really like a new Hammersmith grenade launcher. She just lets you go. The most hey. trusted brand in brutality. But we can't all have what we want. And seeing as you don't seem the executive sort, you obviously don't belong in the Acropolis district. You know, that's some brilliant logic. You should be promoted. Hey, I've been trying to get a post at the HHC, but they keep turning me down on account of my odious interpersonal skills. Or something. You get paid by the word, Officer Windbag? As a matter of fact, I get paid per profile, you marginally employed 20-something male with more guts than sense. Damn! Anyway, I've worked here long enough to know every clerk by name and face. And since I don't know yours, you ain't getting through. I'll be back. <clears throat> what is it now? You don't know me because I'm new to the job. I'm starting at the ministry tomorrow. You're new to the ministry? You one of those lab coats they promoted from a company town? You ever hear of Stimulotion? I developed the active compound. That was yours? Wow. You earned that promotion, all right. So you start tomorrow, huh? You know, they should have set you up with an ID six to eight weeks ago. I know, but it never arrived. I tried to file the complaint. But then you had to wait six to eight weeks for the complaint forms to arrive, right? I've been there. Yeah, all right. You're good to go. That worked, actually. Just backed off. What's your showing up? I lie. That's why I tried to bribe you, but then I realized that I'm actually an important person. Oh shit. Ah man. Like, like, think about that conversation at base value. I was going to bribe you, but then I realized I don't have to. What? The board's own headquarters. Or as I like to call it, Jackass Central. Is that a vampire? Welcome to the official headquarters of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation board. Today's greeting is brought to you by Auntie Cleo. A subsidiary of Colway Pharmaceuticals. Yeah, if you're just gonna let everyone walk around, I'll walk all over you. So am I. Say your business. Fucking your mom. Please step away. This entry is for high priority HHC business only. That's it official enough for you? Huh. I didn't realize we were still using those iridescent stickers. But this looks right. I'll better just watch need you out. to register your weapons better with the device request to carry 32B4. Each out. weapon will need a separate form. Fine. Now, let's see. Damn it. Santa Claus is fucking form? Um, how about you save us both some trouble and let me through? I was going to suggest that myself. Look, you don't have time to wait on new forms. And I can't afford the citations for impeding HAC business. So I'm going to save us both some trouble and wave your forms. Mighty fine of you. Just know there are a bunch of guards upstairs and they're all high on dervish mist and low on patience. So try anything funny and they'll paint the walls with your guts. Doubt that. Don't worry boss, I got a plan. First, we get ourselves some toss ball sticks, right? And we sidle up to him all polite like. These ain't humorous types, Felix. Felix, pull back on the anarchism a little bit. They're probably going to murder later, but let's try the polite approach first. What's up? Yeah, boss? Like, let's just try the polite approach first. Kill everyone in this gilded shithole. That's probably happening. Like, if we're real.
I understand you're Maverick Johnston's new star. Well done. Oh, right, I am. What do you do here? Personal assistant to Adjutant Akande and Chairman Rockwell. I'm also responsible for organizing the Adjutant Stationery, which is more of a hobby. Exciting. The art of arranging stationery is a never-ending source of joy and satisfaction. And scares Will there be me with how much else? boring he is. I'll be on my way. Am I allowed in this way? Am I allowed in this way? There is no way I'm getting in here, it would seem. Not without a level 100 lockpick. Oh, well, I could just walk in here. Excuse me, just a moment. What? I beg your pardon, Minister Clark's former office is currently closed to solicitors. You should get back to your desk. I saw someone eyeing your stationery. What? Oh dear. Thank you for reminding me. I can't stand the thought of someone else's hands touching my custom letterheads. That was just me insulting him and it worked. <laughs> Look at this fancy office. Chairman's bleeding the whole colony dry. Thick ass thought. Oh, are you playing, uh. Are you doing that, boss? Did you get unlucky and get that roll for, uh, roulette? Ah, okay. Why does he just have a bypass shunt here? Alright. So. I got solo Nidhogg. Oof. Good luck. You priority message. Chairman, the rough conversation the presentation is prepared to play. The PR department has a lot to work on, but we covered the basics. Alcino is on the brink of starvation. Board scientists are working on a solution. Works to look forward to the lifetime employment program for their chance to contribute. You'll see the current version when you print your key card for the Ministry of Accuracy and Morale, and yes, before you ask, the dimethyl sulfoxide has been delivered there. It's waiting for your sign-off on the broad stroke, so I'll wait to, to make sure you saw it. Don't worry, I'll make sure it gets properly edited. Point. Good afternoon. I'm Chairman Rockwell, and I'm here to address a serious issue facing us. As you all know, our colony has been successful beyond our wildest dreams. Unfortunately, we've recently discovered that our food supply will not be able to sustain Halcyon's population in the long term. Everyone will die. Everyone will slowly stop living <laughs> from malnutrition. Is this your first playthrough? Yep, it is. It together, and that's what matters. I'm, I'm enjoying this. If someone doesn't give me something to read that will placate the masses soon, all of you will find yourselves violently unemployed. I love this. But I can assure you there's nothing to fear. We've got a solution. It's called the Lifetime Employment Program. Oh, we'll good. We'll raise most of the colony to preserve resources. What? While the best and brightest of Byzantium continue living in prosperity. Look, you idiots. How many times do I have to tell you we can't say shit like that? Fire whoever wrote this. How did Jack even scan? While Halcyon's brightest minds solve the problem of our nutritional shortage, the rest of the colony will be placed in suspended animation. Jesus! Individuals will be revived on a rotating basis so that every healthy night can be part of the important work of saving our colony. By testing paperweights. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> couldn't resist. Let, let's go again. <laughs> okay, at least you have a And someday, in the not too distant future, when we've solved this crisis, I'm going to we'll murder all be everyone. Back together again, working for the good Probably. of Halcyon. Until then. The board shall provide for the deserving just as it always has. So, Yay. obey your supervisors, take your vitamins, follow your corporate mandated grooming rituals, and rest assured with the board on your side, there is nothing to worry about. I knew it. You need to destroy capitalism this the board was crooked, but this? The audience gasps. This evil. Guess the whole colony's up a creek. I thought it was just better fall I think I'd agree and mr. message to earth Boop. personal files how long does it take to clear out an abandoned office 
toss clocks belonging into the streets of the Byzantium for all I care. He's not using them. Just get my office expansion done before I return. I'm tired of staring at that hole in the wall. And for law's sake, do something about the doom and gloom presentation. We have the brightest minds in Halcyon working in our PR department, and they've made this announcement sound like a damned funeral elegy. We need something bright and cheerful. We need something we can sell. What character was that? Um, that was... Uh, that was the leader of the... Leader of Halcyon. Uh, Chairman Rockwell. Reschedule my regular Wednesday message. I have urgent matters to attend to off-site. Files? Chairman, I made inquiries and can confirm that we have plenty of real food stored away from our intercolony trade. The nutritional profile of food produced within Halcyon has continued to decline. Soon people are going to start feeling hungry no matter how much they eat. Unfortunately, it's gotten too expensive to continue buying from even the closest colonies, but we have will sustain Byzantium and a minimal workforce for the foreseeable future. I know. It runs better on PS4 for me. The, hem, the heads of the other nine corporations are up in arms about their shares again. As head of UDL, you can overrule them easily, but I thought you should know they're at it again. I couldn't help but imagine Kirei Kotomine doing those taxes, because same VA. I thought it was Kotomine. I thought it sounded familiar. Are we just allowed to walk out of here? So happy. Oh, happy you lucky. We were right all of along. We needed to destroy capitalism. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I was right all of along. Oh fuck. Come on. If that's the path we want to take, we might actually need to plan this one out. I do I do think we can I do think we can blast our way out of here, but we might need to we might need to plan this one out. Sorry, Mike fell down. Rip Mike. Get it! You're going down! Oh, hang on. That went much better the second time. Ooh, that's very good. Hey, Felix, you want a light weapon? How about that? In fact, if I can get another one of those, I might want that myself. In fact, I think that might be better than the armor I'm wearing. 46? 53? Eh. I th although I do think it will be better on all of my other guys. Like you? And... You're at 24. I didn't even finish the game at that. I've been, uh, taking my time a little bit. And what about you? Nothing. What about you? Yep, that'll work. We were right all along. We have to destroy capitalism. It is our destiny. Also, we have 88 stim backs, and our we are going to deck everyone out in matching armor. They're going to be the fucking Beastie Boys. I have no. I don't think the Beastie Boys wore matching outfits. That's just what my heart felt. Oh. Get it! Boop! Destroyer of worlds. I am become death, destroyer of worlds. 
Tripping. Come on. Oh, Neo can be charged for shit. Who is Joe? I don't know. Down they go. Oh, we are done. Holy shit, we are done. Shoot him. I am a I don't think this I don't think these people are going to live much longer. How did you get shot? Choose with their mouth open. Oh, they deserve to die. I think Space Hospital is a documentary. Watches all my colonists on Aether Wave every week. Alright, you know what? Everyone else can live if they're oh no, they're all they're all combatants. I can't revive Felix unless I kill them all. Nice one. Now we this Jacksepticeye looking person. Pact has been made. We will sacrifice them all for Felix's life. She wondered what all the fuss was about. Has nightmares of being killed by a dashing space captain. What a coincidence! Cheated on the career aptitude test. Obviously tracks all toss ball games. Drink spectrum vodka red. Is that everyone? How is that not everyone? Who's left? How have I not gotten everybody? Okay, we got everybody. And thank you for the pizzas. Nioka, you earn that upgrade. She, I don't think the the one woman who was uh, mad at the other of uh, the one group of people will have a problem with me doing that because she had no problem with me killing guards anyway. So you know. The way I see it, I should be able to still do that quest. That's the way I see it. And I'm sticking to it. We're probably going to have to fight all of these guards out here, aren't we? Place your bets. Oh no, wow. Shoot. Wait. Not all of them have aggroed us. Just play it real nice and smooth like. We haven't attacked yet. So, theoretically, we should be okay. As long as we play it really Smooth moves like smooth little babies.
I can see absolutely nothing wrong with the plan of action that we have taken thus far. When indentured servants are freed, anarchy soon follows. Jesus! Oh my goodness God! Huh? Some- Watch out! Oh... Here we go. We may want to back off. I don't think we're going to have much success in the Byzantium. Now on. Especially because I don't I don't think this is a completable quest at this point. Although, I'm not opposed to trying. Oh, that's my, that's my guy. I'm just looking at legs. Okay, yeah, we might want to go back on uh, what we've just done. That was a fun romp, but I think we need to back up about... Oh, shit. Is this Good Springs 3, the springening? Uh... It might be. I might have made a mistake. Okay, so I have a plan. I have a plan. Well, near hostiles. Is there still a hostile on the top floor or something? Felix, I overheard you listening to Tossball. You a fan? Am I a fan? She asks. I've been a I fan have a since plan. the Avengers won the Tripacale crown. Right. Explain something to me. What the hell is the point of the six pack? Oh, it's easy. See, the six back protects the fourth back from the eighth back. You want to think of the six back as your twelfth line of defense, yeah? Unless, and this is important, okay. the game's in the third half. In that case, a good six back knows how to pivot toward defense in case the other team runs the field. <sighs> I'm even more. All right, can we leave? Confused Not fast now. travel while near hostiles. I'm just Shit. gonna turn my brain off okay. and try to enjoy it. Also, the slogan of the anti Creo darlings. Plan, uh, plan's not really working right now. Alright. So, I do have a secondary backup plan. Unfortunately, that plan might actually be worse than the initial plan I had. Um, for those wondering, that plan is... Send Nioka and Felix back to the ship. Run for my life. Go complete the one quest for the one lady. And then immediately hope that that raises my reputation out of the fuck hole that I put myself into. I, that, I think that's the only plan I have right now. Out of the fuck. I mean, it was equally a valid, uh, point. And the, the, the thing is, I can't have either of them killing them, because that counts bad on me. And they will auto-aggro if they, uh, if they get talked to. If they What's get that? shot at. Mind heading to the ship for a bit? Oh, uh, sure, Cap. Let me know if you want some company, if I ain't blacked out. 
Felix? Yeah, boss? Head back to the ship. Whatever you say, boss. I'll see you back there. Here we go! Saw something. I'm Run! Run for it! Jump the fence! Can't jump the fence! Ow. Uh. That sure looks cool. Keep running! Keep running! Huh? Keep running! Oh, oh god! What did you do? Um, uh, murdered everybody in the main building. Open the door, open the door, open the door, open the door, open the door! Alright, uh, backup plan. We need to find a building. Any building will do. Ow. Okay, hang on. Strain motor for a bit. No, I know, I need to. But the thing is, everyone in this area wants to motor me now. I got upset that they were going to freeze everyone and kill everyone. Wait, hang on. It wants any hostiles! We're free. Uh, what? Where are the hostiles? I see no hostiles. What's up? All right, head to the ship. Felix. Yeah, boss. Whatever you head say. Head to the ship. Okay. We need to find a building that'll let us in. No, I know. He didn't tell me to do anything. I just need to get to... I need to get in an area where there are no hostiles. Ellie's house! We have to get to Ellie's house. No, oh, there's a building. There's a building. Get inside. Get inside. Get inside. Ah, oh, okay, fair enough. Come on, Mr. and Mrs. Fenhill, please don't be hostile. They're not hostile. Ugh. Ugh. Are you fucking with me? What do you mean?
I can't fast travel from inside Ellie's house. Fast travel indoors in some places. Alright. In that case, we have one option remaining to us. Must hide. Wait. I know where we can hide. Oh boy. Ignore me. Ignore me. Okay, I have a plan. I'm not actually going inside this house. The important thing is, I can walk out of that house, and nobody will be near me. Meaning I will be able to walk out of that house, and theoretically fast travel. Okay, come on. This should work. And if it works, I won't have to kill everybody. I'm smart. This is a puzzle. I can figure it out. Me out. God damn it. And I don't think that would be much better. I still can't fast travel. Still not gonna give me that. Oh. Look at this here. Oh, God damn it. Can't you just leave me alone? Hostiles? I see no hostiles. In combat. I'm not in combat.
Oh my god. There must be another way down there. Someone just locked me out of my ship. Hey. Okay. I'm on my legally allotted break. Really, I'm supposed to be here. We will find our way. We can do it. I need everyone to believe in me. I need everyone to believe in us. Believe in the bonds we share. Believe in the bonds we've forged. Absolutely not. Repair. Maintenance tunnels. I have no idea why what this is over here. There must be a reason. Oh, here we go. Now switching to garbage disposal mode. Shut up. Shut up. Fuck, that's a bathroom. That's also a bathroom. Here's another door. Okay. Let me in. Oh, fuck. Fine. That doesn't boost me high enough? Fine, I need some intelligence boosting drugs. Or maybe some physical boosting drugs? I don't know, I'll take both. Which one's body? Body. That's mind. Ah, oh, so close. Oh, fuck. Okay. Jesus. What the fuck? Worked out. Oh no. Fuck. Hang on, wait. Do I have any extra lockpick armor? Leadership skills? I do not. Okay. In that case, we keep running. Halt, sweeping the area. Fuck. Okay, what's this area's map look like? That's where I came from. That is an elevator. Okay. We got this. Where are we? Go around this bend, straight ahead, and hang a left. Around this bend. Straight ahead. Sit. 
And hang a left. Ah, uh, this door. Hang on, wait. Am I am I on too many drugs? Am I on multiple drugs? I am not on multiple drugs. There is, unless one of these guys has something to boost my uh, lock picking arm ability. Although I suppose if I murder enough guys... If I murder so many of these guys that I level up... And they are only Sprat Exterminators, so that it doesn't count against me for killing them. We can level up by killing these guys. Sister. We're getting out of this place. Trip him. Nice. Okay. Okay, okay. Well, all right, we're doing okay. I got a nice paper knife. Cute. HPS Halcyon. I'll trip you, fucker. Okay. You're almost there. What about this way? Bard? Oh, come on! We are so close. How close are we to leveling up? Oh, we are so close to leveling up. Need it to level? Okay, we are actually about 20,000 from leveling up. I don't think we're leveling up in this dungeon. Although we've killed everything here, so you know, that's a start. I don't think we're getting out of this one in that direction. At least not without a lot of wanton murder. Which is kind of what we are trying to avoid. Alright, we're back in the Byzantium. How do we get out of here? As long as things aren't aggro to us yet, we should be okay to fast travel.
Just let me fast travel. Give me a level up. So I can bump lock pick and probably leave in the other direction in that way. Okay, yep, not happening. Wait. They're just talking. May I? I'm back in combat. What the shot? Alright. We have to figure out a way out of here. I think, is that the only way out of here? This ele one elevator? Enjoy six cups worth of concentrated caffeine in every dollop. Please let me enter the door. Get in! Alright. This is it. We've made it. All we need to do is get to the ship. Oh, come on. Come on. I can't use it because I'm in combat. Wow, you have a big gun. Are we good? We're not in combat. Please let me just leave. Let me just leave. Nobody else is coming after me. Last resort. Let's leave the planet. I have made a terrible, terrible mistake. I have made an absolutely terrible mistake. I thought I could get away with wanton murder. And I was wrong. Bit playthrough. No. We could completely complete the playthrough. I just want to do this one side quest because it matters to me. And if I can avoid the wanton fuckhole I've put, the absolute fuckhole I've put myself into, I'd like to. Let's not bring Felix, he's a bad influence. Let's bring Ellie and Nioka. Not Parvati. I don't want her to see what I've become. But if we can just get to that one terminal without getting into combat, we'll be okay. If we can go to the one place, kill as many people as we want because the woman doesn't care, and then we'll come back, our board reputation will be better, and we'll be okay. We can do it. Don't doubt me on this, Zeph. Believe in us.
dissidents in our midst to do, seek to destroy our way of life. Okay. Nobody's mad at us. Let's take it slow. She's not mad at us. Slide on into their DMs. Okay. We got it. We did it, boys. We made it out. We can finally start the quest to fix our wrong. Welcome to the Halcyon Holdings Corporation Early Retirement Center. You, the lucky few, have been selected to spend the rest of your days living the high life in your own private district in Byzantium. When you arrive, you'll be whisked away to your very own luxury penthouse, furnished exclusively by 24-7 Furniture's Deluxe Falskoid Collection. Some assembly required, 24-7 Furniture is not responsible for any injury, psychological damage, or divorce litigations that occur during the assembly process. Was litigations? After you get settled in, you'll have the chance to explore your new home. Why? Why not go for a bite at one of our many restaurants, like CNP's Blazing Borst Barbecue or Rizzo's All You Can Crunch Cereal Buffet? Or maybe you'd like to head to the bar and Why enjoy do I doubt an all of this? Zero G Brew by Spacer's Choice. Uh. Before beginning your new life, uh, safety verifications, you here and after refer to as the employee, consent to the rules and regulations of Halcyon Holdings Corporation Early Retirement Center. Hereby being referred to as the center. Calling it now, there's not a living thing in here. Definitely. The employee confirms that they have read and understand the rules of the center as written in an article blog, Early Retirement Welcome Packet. The employee also confirms that they have received this packet en route to the center. In the unlikely event of injury, death, or the loss of personal items, the employee assumes all liability for the incident. The Halcyon Holdings Corporation and its subsidiaries bear no responsibility for the incident and offer no compensation. Should the center recover any lost or stolen goods, the employee must retrieve them within 48 hours or their goods will be forfeit. If the employee is having second thoughts about living out the rest of their lives in unparalleled luxury, then they may exit this terminal and return to the center's landing bay. There, the employee may turn in their early retirement ticket up and await the next outbound transport. Don't worry, that ticket won't go to waste. It'll be given to another deserving worker to keep the center's inbound population at ideal levels. Otherwise, if the employee is ready to begin the final leg of their early retirement journey and enjoy all the center has to offer, please select I consent. Zero G Brew, an ale that's good for what ails you. Although in the early retirement district, nothing will. All this and more will be complimentary for the entirety of your stay, courtesy of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation. You won't have to spend a bit. Doubt. Something on your mind? What's up? I didn't like that, no. Nope, nope, not having this. I've lived through too many marauder ambushes in my life to die by a trap built by corporate pencil pushers. Oh God. I need to get them down here. I don't think they're. I think I got stuck somehow. My kind of. And that. And that. Go! Go! 
Get it. Get it, girl. Oh god, even more guys. Fuck. This is bad. This is very bad. They're all gonna freeze and let them die. It's like cycled labor, really. Hey, it's still just as bad. Keep going. We're going to get back to the fun stuff, I promise. Not bad, huh? Oh, I am a little stoned. Everyone's just totally fucked. Oh, uh, no, we're, we're, we're making amends. We're going to get board points. Cool. Board points are a coming. Transition to the maintenance tunnels. Are you for real? The maintenance tunnel playthrough that I just wanted to get through. If I did another playthrough, it would probably be pro capitalist, yes, man. Oh, come on. Halt. Searching for on. Okay, here we go. Swinging. Keep swinging. Keep going, Nyoka. I just left those way my pro capitalist one. Not fair. I can see that. Keep shooting. Keep shooting. Alright, night. 
Take it easy, man. Okay, keep going. You can do it. Shit, hold back. Yet. That's gotta count for something. I think my weapon's gone to shit. Now, I'm gonna switch to the Enray weapon. Switch weapons. Nothing with this Enray damage. did it. We actually did it. Ugh. I fucking knew it. Wait, no, this isn't- was this where I was earlier? No, it wasn't. Oh, right, I hit level 25. That means they got their thing. Um. Is down in combat. They heal, come back fighting. Take damage. I like that one. Also, Ellie, are you wielding good weapon? It's, uh, 576. Hey, you could be wielding a better weapon. Alright, so which way were we going earlier? Focal. Mostly just because I want to know what was over there that I spent so long trying to get to, then, and now I can. I just want to know. It matters to me. How'd you do that so fast? Real slick. And you, Miss Ellie, have an impact hammer. Let's get the fuck out of here. I don't think we got board points for that. I don't believe we got board points for that. I 
was hoping we get some points for finding out something for the board. To help them discredit the poor people. Maybe dismantle the authority. Uh, I, I don't think, uh, I don't think this worked out in the way I anticipated. In fact, I think it worked out quite in the opposite way. Oh, God. I can take a hint. They got the drop on us. Oh, okay. I've resigned myself to not being able to talk my way out of this. Alright, let's get back to the beating stick. Let me talk to you. I just walked on up and tried. No. Be good. All right. We're going to have to do something we didn't want to do. Whoever's up here, we're going to have to talk to them. And in order to get our board rep back in standing where we can complete this quest, we'll have to agree with them. have to side with capitalism if we want to fight capitalism. As long as the choice isn't like murder the entire planet or some shit. Because if it's that, we might have to just keep on this awful nightmare. You're not letting us go. Trip. Nice one. Don't hurt me. I'm not hurting you. I'm only attacking people with guns. As long as you don't shoot me, I will not shoot you. That is not what I am about. Must find our way to the capitalism. City in the stars. Oh, hey, look, another man with a gun. I totally forgot I had uh, bought into the AG. Anyone else? Okay, we good? Okay, we're good. Uh, so, cease your foolish actions. This was a thing. Is there actually nothing in here? Like, there's nothing in here. Oh, hang on. 
It's a service award and some purple berry liquor. Fantastic. Oh, well, here's some ammo. That's fine. Purple. Oh, all right, thank you. I don't even think she felt that. She, I, she is stone. Don't mind me, I'm just a guy. Don't mind me. Just average everyday lay person. Doovering about the facility. Don't think about me at all. You saw me. So what you get for thinking about me. Like true professionals. Whatever you say, hon. How are we gonna get over there? Oh, okay, we probably have to go this way. Yeah, I'll just uh cut out the middle man. Boink. Boink. Their mistake. Their mistake. Get it? Finish her off. I am. Anyone else? They are totally on board with this. A little too on board. I'm a little uncomfortable. Like, I don't know how I feel about the fact that my uh, partners are totally on board with all the wanton murder that I'm doing. I mean... Like, they're... I mean, I get Ellie a little bit, but, uh... Yoka never strikes me as the down-with-the-system kind of person. I mean, I'm down with it, but, like, uh... I just feel like maybe, maybe they shouldn't be. Ow. What is this here? I need this, I need this somehow. Probably a terminal. Cannot use while in combat. Who am I in combat with? Fine. Does somebody else still wanna fight? Does anyone else want to fight me after that? Okay, I'm out of combat. They are still obviously hostiles, but I think I'm out of combat. Transfer. Continue. Assault, uh... Kill it. Fuck the system. Oh, wait, 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 oh God! I didn't think that one through. Just pretend uh, you did a war crimes. It's 
So does anyone get to live tonight? <laughs> I didn't boss I didn't think that one 100% of the way through. It was not until I did what I did when I realized, oh fuck, I just did that. It all started with a kiss. How did it end up like this? Please, just let me go home. Everyone's hostile to me. Everyone's mad. Oh, I'm mad. We're not getting out of Here this one. I didn't intend for this to become Good Springs 3, but I think it's Good Springs 3. You go down. I I feel bad. This wasn't my intention. You know what? No. 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 Please. Please miss. No, we aren't. We must be strong. Be strong for mother. That was your last warning. Yeah. Get up, Nyoka. I can deal with this one. No, no please don't hurt me. Anyone that anyone that actively impedes our progress or prevents us from leaving, we'll deal with them. Oh my god, I somehow made them even angrier than I did on my first try. The ad drone is a creature- oh no, the ad drone has way too much health. to land and they don't give a shit excitement after all are they still coming I think we got out if I spit think I can hit that mechanical down there weapon is broken I have no doubt it's broken I know. I can see it. I know what it means. I, uh, you? Pretend we're strangers. The board's always watching. I just think she doesn't want to talk to me. Which, understandable. Now we leave and never return. I don't think we're getting out of this one. I wonder if we could get out of this one by going back to Groundbreaker and turning in Phineas Wells.
Why would you want to? Just to see if I could. Oh no, Ada's here to scorn me. You have a message from Adjutant Sophia Akande. Oh god. No one ever looks quite the same in person as they do in my reports. And my reports of you have been exceptionally thorough. You've had quite a career. I didn't intend to. I don't remember killing her. You were at her office. You killed all of her guards. I... I guess I missed her. I guess I missed her. You mean stumbling around the colony pretending to know what I'm doing? I think you're being modest. I've been I, keeping I up with you ever since Emerald Vale. Now that was an interesting piece of work. A run-down backwater, barely worth the ink on a map. Until you showed up. When you cut off power to Edgewater, you saved me a great deal of trouble. Now I don't have to bother trying to save that town. All this happened because some... Mysterious stranger fell out of the sky. You almost sound like you approve. Not always. For the longest time, I could never be sure if you were on our side or against us. You should be back on the Hope, frozen in a hibernation chamber. Yet here you are, flying about in a stolen ship, leaving a trail of paperwork in your wake. The board doesn't know what to make of you. But I do. I've seen your potential. There's so much we can do for this colony. After I fucked it up? I'm sure you didn't bring me all this way just to- You wanted to talk to me, make me- make your offer. You have something I want. I'd like to negotiate. The people need better security. Anyone could have lifted those chemicals. Yes, I'm aware that you stole a batch of precious chemicals and destroyed I just want to know what she offers. Enterprising of you, if irritating. My scientists tell me they'll restore the damage you've done within a matter of months. But I'm not here to talk about minor setbacks. Phineas Wells is wanted by the board. I want to convince you to turn him in to us. This is our only chance. I don't think we can do it. Well, although I am curious, I've always wanted to know what he's wanted for. He has a litany of charges against him. Vandalism, illegal experimentation, sedition. I could go on. Wells is a dangerous madman. His plan is going to endanger everyone. Why do you in want Alfion? to be good with the boy when you wanted to he's destroy an it? He's psychopath. I don't and he's know. using you. You're in contact with Wells. I want you to send us a tracing signal from his communication terminal. Hold on, getting a lot of noise in the signal. Could you fuck off and never call back? You are making a serious mistake. Adjutant Akande's call has been terminated. Will there be anything else, Captain? Eh. What's on Typhon? Apparently we can't know. Worth a try. We have successfully arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain. And we are still in one piece. Shall I congratulate myself, or would you like to do the honors? Congratulations, Ada. Really, I just wanted to know if I could get myself back in good graces with the board without actively fucking over everything else I wanted to do. And the answer to that question seems to be no. I cannot. So... We tried. This did not go the way I wanted it to. Although, I don't know how else it could have gone... Nah, I know how it could have gone better. Not doing exactly what I did. I could have just walked out of the building.
which would have probably been the correct thing to do, but I just didn't do it. For no reason. What's good? I've kept myself busy in your absence, optimized my formula. I'm now confident I can revive the remaining colonists. Okay. All I need now is the dimethyl sulfoxide. I'll take as much as you can give me. A colony is on the verge of collapse. What? Oh, yes, well, that's obvious. Anyone with two working labs can see this colony slouching toward oblivion. Why do you think we've been doing all this? I revived you to help me save Halcyon from annihilation. It gets worse. The chairman's planning on freezing every worker in Halcyon. Hold on. Let me see if I understand this correctly. You're saying that Halcyon's on the brink of total collapse? And the chairman's plan to save all of us is to save himself? I always knew Halcyon was heading toward a system's collapse, but I never imagined we were already there. The board made this crisis, and now they want to solve it by freezing the rest of us? More or less. That's not a plan. That's a goddamn escape clause. That makes two things we don't have. Time and chemicals to revive the other settlers. None of this was supposed to happen. I was supposed to revive the Hope's colonists. We were supposed to have enough time to solve the problem before we all starved. I found your chemicals in the ministry. They were testing them on human subjects. Human test subjects? Oh, that's grotesque. That's unthinkable. That's exactly what I'd expect out of the board. Yeah, fair. I had to let the test subjects die, but I brought back all the chemicals they had. Thank you. You've brought me enough chemicals to get started, at least. I'm just sorry they came at the cost of human lives. Me too, fam. Those poor people. They must have died in agony. But I genuinely made a mistake on that one. I was trying to mitigate damage to human tissue during the revival process. You say the board's trying to freeze their subjects over and over again without inflicting permanent damage? Well, they're nowhere close to solving that problem. I'll tell you this much. The board scientists are hopelessly lost. After years of fruitless experimentation, they've made exactly zero progress. Focus, Phineas. Halcyon's going to collapse unless we do something. We're out of time. We're out of chemicals. We have chemicals we may now. We will be out of options. If the board has their way, we're all going to be spending the rest of our lives frozen in stasis. We have chemicals now. Do you now. realize what this means for the Hope? For your fellow colonists? The board's going to kill them all. Toss them out into space just to make room in their hibernation chambers. We need to think about this. There has to be something we can do. Short of lining up every member of the board and shooting them in the back of the head. Do you know what's waiting for us on the Hope? Scientists, engineers, artists, the brightest minds Earth ever sent us, uncorrupted by the board. And me. The board's going to dispose of them all and transform the Hope into a prison for the rest of us. They're likely on their way to the Hope as we speak. We have chemicals. We need to get to those colonists before the board. I have enough chemicals to start reviving a few of them, but no easy way to get them off the Hope. There's a way. It's not exactly safe, but we can skip the hope into the system. Merciful gibbering law! You're a genius! That was a guess. We bring the hope to us. Skip the entire ship across the distance of colony space, right next to my lab. The hope's probably damaged. We'll have to route power from the unreliable. Yes, yes, exactly. You're a step ahead of me, but I perceive the shape of your plan. If we link up the Hope to the Unreliable, then use your navigational computer to calculate a reasonably safe vector, we can skip the entire colony ship into the ring. Is of this territory. entire game going to end on me having a science check? I don't check? know much about skip drives, not the physics, anyhow. I do know the Hope's real massive. How's our bitty little ship supposed to skip it? Excellent question, my sharp-witted mechanic. 
you will use your own ship to power up the Hope skip drive, your navigational computer can handle the rest. Yikes. You'll need to switch on the Hope's auxiliary power using the unreliable. Then, head to the bridge. Your navigational computer, Ada, should be able to activate the Hope skip drive. Okay. Once you've skipped the Hope next to my lab, I'll have easy access to the frozen colonists. I can start reviving them immediately. I'll, I've got questions. Certainly. How can I help? Did I expect any resistance? It wouldn't surprise me. When I pulled you out of the hope, the board nearly intercepted me. I expect they stepped up security since my little act of larceny. Just so we're clear, you know skip drives aren't meant to be used like this. Skip drives were never designed to be used within a system. But I skipped my ship across Halcyon when I rescued you. And that turned out fine. Mostly. That is, I ruined my ship and nearly killed myself in the process, but the maneuver was well within acceptable margins of risk. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. People aren't going to notice a trick. Oh, that's an easy one. I'm ready. I know you're wondering why I'm doing all this. Why I believe the people on the Hope are the answer to the colony's problems. The Hope is carrying some of humanity's most brilliant thinkers. Scientists, engineers, experts in their field. If we work together, we can still find a way to save Halcyon. Okay. The board would have us believe Halcyon is beyond saving. I choose to believe otherwise. If there's even the slightest chance we can save Halcyon from oblivion, then we have to take it. I want, I want to talk for the hope. Certainly. Oh, okay. That's all for now. Level up. I feel like we might need some engineering. Uh, what do you guys think? My sneak's actually pretty good. Nah, if we bring Parvati, we'll be good. We might need some science, though. Did you get the science hammer? I did not. I never found it. I do have a nice uh, scythe, though. Reach third phase on Nidhogg EX. I'm surprised you got that far. Go to Groundbreaker first. This will probably be the last thing we do. Assuming the boy doesn't try to kill us as soon as we walk on the ship. Which is absolutely possible. Like, it's completely possible that's just what happens. I would understand. The Groundbreaker is a separate faction. I know, but I think there's bored people on the Groundbreaker. So they'll probably try to kill me if I do that. Only in an embassy? Could I kill all the people in the embassy and, uh... Ah, okay. I think I remember the quest, so I could probably just equip the quest. Captain, if you're looking for crew members, LA or... Let's just, uh, go... Felix, they're sharing... So then I says, fine, I'll pay you back for all of it, with interest. Nice one. You must have had him quaking in their heels. I mean, I wasn't really gonna do it. I just wanted to make him feel bad. Pay you back with interest. I gotta remember that one. Would have felt better if it had worked. Hey, boss, I wanna talk to you. What's up? You know, they're gonna make a serial about our adventures one day. I've been trying to think of a good title for this episode. I like the sound of the skip job. No, 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 wait, I got it. Hope in dark times. That's Get actually kind of good. Like the ship. 
That's what folks in the business call wordplay. Not bad. Adventure's gonna need a name, too. Yeah, I've been thinking about that. Got a list right here. I like it. Thrilling tales of the unreliable. Or maybe spine-chilling stories from the edge of the system. Too long. Was also considering astounding adventures in the other. I'm partial to that last one. I prefer the adventures of Robin Goodfellow and company. Not bad. Got a nice ring to it. Stealing the hope from the board, skipping it across the whole damn system. <laughs> this is gonna be great. I can't wait. Like your attitude. Enough to boost my pay? Nah, I'm just kidding, boss. I know you don't pay me. I'm sure you've got plans to make. As for me, I gotta keep practicing my signature dropkick. The hope might have cameras. There is a supposedly a science weapon on that ship. I am interested a little bit in it, but eh. If you don't mind my saying, Captain, Minister Clark is lucky to have you on his side. Captain, I hope Dr. Wells has not dragged you into one of his irrational schemes again. My diagnosis again? of his mental stability is not flattering. Groundbreaker. The Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. Brinkley is a novelty? Fair enough. Let's take the gang. After this, we're gonna stop. We are good boys and girls. Okay, so we just need to figure out where we're going. This has been one hell of a day. I did everything incorrectly. I I am the worst. Killed rich people. To so go through the Chicago checkpoint, but not through the second set of doors that lead to Groundbreaker proper? Ah, okay. And besides, the Groundbreaker likes me. I could probably murder somebody and they wouldn't even be too upset about it. I'm not going to. Jeez. We interrupt your regularly scheduled. I, I, we interrupt your mom. Back into the bunk room. Fuck. Luckily, no one noticed that. Oh, I see. Yeah, I see. Wait, what? What's with all the hostiles over there? Somebody was trying to fix this up, but looks like they ain't been here in a long while. Oh, sweetie. Think they're gonna come. come. Oh. Wow. Yeet. That's the Thank last you. of them. Thank you. Prismatic hammer. Hammer is working on a weapon. Science weapons. Body just 
bust the nut. That's that's quite big. And it's every element. Good lord. I don't think we're walking out that direction. I think we need to walk out in this direction. Can we in can si do science weapons count as legendaries? I could just walk on all Why? There's a book that caps the cost of tinkling for one th to one thousand. Oh, eat. I'll have to look for that poke next time I have a chance to grab a poke. Luckily, I didn't boost it too much higher than uh, the 1,000. Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. Uh oh. Girl fight? So, we're really gonna do this? I've seen lots of crazy, Captain, but Phineas is in a class of his now own. Now it only deals 30 points. Do you really think he knows what he's doing? Sending us to skip the Hope into Teratu's orbit right under the board's nose? I'm not sure, but it's our best chance. There's a sobering thought. Makes me want to drink. I think this whole plan's insane, but it'll make a good story. You know, if we survive. Speaking of, I get that Phineas thinks he's saving the colony, but what about you? Why risk your neck on this crazy scheme? What about you? You're still with me. I'll do anything for a good story. And nothing shines on a pirate's resume like a successful suicide mission. There. But I asked you first. People of Halcyon deserve a chance. So do the colonists on the Hope. Coming from anyone else, that would sound like a line from one of those Odeon Pictures movies. But I think you really mean it. Still, all this depends on the other Hope colonists. Are they gonna pull us out of the shit? Or are we all just gonna leave a bigger, uglier stain on this corner of the galaxy? Shot. If half as capable as me, we'll be in good hands. This is why I like you, Captain. Well, whenever you're ready to do this, I'm with you. Anything else? Nope. Hey, no, 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 hang on. Felix keeps asking me to watch some adventure serial with him. It's not my thing, but he's real sweet about it. Something busted, Captain? No. Hey, Cap. Is that it? Felix. Parvati. Sam. Rubs that narrows to auto mechanical, but that's only for Sam. To the hope. I get the feeling that we're almost done with we this game. We have arrived at the hope. I need you to reroute power from our ship to the hope's auxiliary generator. You'll have to connect me to the hope's comm system so I can convince her central computer to enable the skip drive. Okay. What's gonna happen if I skip the hope? <laughs> 
If your calculations are even slightly off, you could crash the entire colony ship into Terra too. Awesome. Or the sun. Less awesome. What was I doing again? Forgetfulness can be an early warning sign of asphyxiation due to loss of pressurization. Are you breathing comfortably, Captain? I need you to reroute power from our ship to the Hope's auxiliary generator. You'll have to connect me to the- Okay. Tell me about the Hope. The Hope is the Groundbreaker's prettier, sleeker sister. She wandered off and got lost for 70 years, but just recently was found. Also, there are hundreds of thousands of frozen organic life forms hibernating in her hold. Checks out. That's all. Okay. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. We beat the game, probably. I don't think there's going to be any other game after this, so I guess we're beating the game. See y'all on Tuesday.